and welcome back everyone, I am December and welcome back to Blackwell Convergence. Uh, last time we got a little bit drunk off a lot of wine, but it was good because we got a cutscene with a mysterious character that we know nothing about yet. Uh, but yeah, technically we have to go and I see know this- that area. Yeah, That's Monique. Astro Place. Astro Place. New location, Cubestar Films. Does Monique have a real ghost story or are we just chase chasing shadows? can't read today. Either way, can't hurt to check. Monique Stallman. Okay, so we have to visit her. Maybe we'll get another lead for a ghost thing. Joey, how are yep. you doing? He's still there. He's always gonna be there. Joey? Joey? Come here. Can I help you? Of course. Let's chat. Did I do anything stupid last night? Wouldn't you like to know? Oh, come on. <laughs> You're not gonna tell me, Joey. are you? And ruin the suspense? No way. Joey, tell me, did I dance naked on the tables again? Because people love that. Did I do- Okay, Man. he's not gonna tell us, bastard. Um, see? It was a good thing we went to the gallery. Hmm? You didn't want to go, but we ended up getting a case. Sort of. Ended up getting hammered is more like it. Don't look so smug, kid. Things like this will happen all the time. Hey, getting hammered is nothing wrong. I love getting hammered. You think that Monique woman is on the level? Who knows? Can't hurt to check her out. Okay, let's go check her out. Say goodbye. That's all for now? Sure. Sure. Let's get out of here. Come on, let's get going. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Ah, oh, this music. It's so nice. So where do we have to go? Cubestar Films. Nice logo. Not really. Come in. Come in. <gasps> Kitty! Hi, Monique? Oh, Kitty. hello. You're an Ashanti's friend, aren't you? The writer? Yeah, that's me. I almost Kitty. didn't recognize you standing upright. Huh, <laughs> right. I don't usually drink that much. Well, we all make mistakes. Uh, well, you're pleasant. Um, how are you doing? So, what do you do here at Cubestar? I'm the executive producer. In a nutshell, I make sure everything gets done, on time, and under budget. She whips everyone into shape, huh? I like her. I kinda like her too, but she seems really rude for some reason. Very cold. So, you have a ghost story, is that right? Oh, yes. It's really nothing. Kind of embarrassing, really. Nishanti said it had to do with Frank Lyons. Yes. It was all over the news. You know what happened. I, uh, regretfully don't know the story because something keeps interfering with my TV. I know he died, but that's all I know. Yes, he's dead. I saw him die. Ooh, he grim. died while filming his last scene. It was tragic and all, but in the end we had to finish the movie. We found a look-alike to complete the scene and then released it. That should have been the end of it. But the film was a smash hit. Really? It was that good? No, it wasn't. People only turned up because a man's death was attached to it. For years, we tried to create a moneymaker. And this is how we did it. Be careful what you wish for, Rosangela. That's all I'll say. So what happened next? Next? I hear him. You hear him? Over in Central Park, near the Gothic Bridge. It's where he died. I pass the area every morning when I go jogging. I can swear I hear him. Calling me. Really? It's like he's... Well, it's probably just my own guilty conscience. We profited from his death. There's no denying that. But what could we do? Give the money to charity? We have investors to pay back. Anyway, that's my ghost story. Take it or leave it. I say we take it. We haven't been to the park in a while. Definitely gonna take it, but that's interesting that she can hear the the ghost. Is she like part medium or susceptible to that? No idea, actually. Today is a, isn't the nicest day for a stroll in the park, but it's not exactly a social call. Fair enough. Uh, what about this adorable kitty that's outside and gonna die? I saw a cat on the window ledge outside. Oh, her? The company adopted her. She belonged to Frank. Thanks for the chat, Monique. Sure. Sure. Oh, so the cat was like Frank Lyons's. Here, kitty. Please don't close the window. There's a reason why it's open. Probably for the kitty. Nice view from up here. Yep. Well, it doesn't seem like we can get the kitty just yet, but I have a feeling it's important. So, um, a 
account books. Those account books go back at least two years. I can't imagine being that organized. You have to be, right? Ooh, posters. Look, this poster is for a film called Water Under the Bridge. It stars Frank Lyons. Frank Lyons? This poster is for a film called it Stars. Oh, okay, okay. We get it. He was nice. He got famous because he died. Let's, um. Uh, do we have somewhere to go? To the park. To the park! Park. Gothic Bridge. Ah, there he is. Mr. Ghosty. I think that's Frank Lyons. He looks different yeah. in person. Of course, he isn't exactly a person anymore. What do you mean? No. What do you mean? What do you mean? He kind of looks like a dead Guybrush Threepwood, doesn't he? Let's talk to him. Um, hi there. Hi. I knew you'd come. You did? Uh... Sure. Are you Frank Lyons? Um... Oh, haha, ha, very funny. Let's get back on track, huh? <clears throat> I knew you'd come. Oh, I see. Another confused ghost, of course. He thinks he's probably still filming for the movie. How did you know? How did you know I'd come? I know you, Yvonne. Perhaps too well. Uh... Yvonne? Dude, you're dead. Listen, I have to tell you something. Come on. The boat's going to leave any minute. Um... No. Listen to me. We have to talk. I... What? Yeah, now I'm messed up. Let's start over, okay? <clears throat> I knew you'd come. I knew you'd come. Urgh. Listen, I No, no, try and con- Let's get through this and then- <clears throat> I knew you- Yeah, this is not gonna work. Never mind. Yeah, I think you need to practice some more. Oh, is that God. Right? No, wait. Joey, this. can you handle him? You do it, Joey. You're better at this. Hello? Oh, hey. hey. You with the company? Company? Oh, I guess you're not. They told me to meet him out here. I guess they're late. Mmm... They are probably very, very late. Are you Frank Lyons? You recognize me? Sure. That's... Thank you. That means a lot. Hey, I live to please. Sort of. S sort of living to please. Well, it looks like Monique's lead paid off. She told us that Frank Lyons died of a heart attack while filming his last scene. So he had a heart attack, eh? What are you doing, man? Why don't you go to the bright light and leave us alone? So, Frank, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, just waiting to finish up. Just one scene to go and I'm done. Finally. Done is the word, yeah. Hmm? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. So, we're on a movie set? Yep. The film is called Water Under the Bridge. Really? Yeah. Actually, I'm probably not supposed to tell you that, but we're hardly Paramount Pictures or anything. Just don't tell anyone, okay? Oh, lips are sealed. No, oh, definitely. You can trust me with all your secrets. Are you sure this is a movie set? Yeah. Where are all the lights, equipment, cameras? People. You know, I'm not sure. They should be on their way. I don't know what's keeping them. Ah, uh, but this ghost, uh, like, despite the other ghosts, this one knows where it is, and it recognizes that it's, mm, well, the camera crew is missing and everything. Whereas the guy that jumped to his death didn't even see the rain or something. Could you tell me the last thing you remember? What do you mean? I've just been hanging out here. And before that? I was... hmm... Funny thing. Funny. Yes? The Minetta. What? The Minetta. Whoa. Yeah. I what was there. The fuck? I'm always there. Whoa! What was that face? Holy shit. Frank's ghost mentioned a place called the Mineta, and then he went insane. What the fuck was that face? It's horrifying. Listen, Frank, you seem like a swell guy, but I have to be honest. You're dead. What? I mean it. You've been haunting this area for months now. Ha. Very funny. My career might have one foot in the grave, but it's not dead yet. My ship will come in. You'll see. I think uh, the ship went down with the captain by now. Let's see. So, tell me about yourself, Frank. Oh, I'm just an actor. I just walk and talk the way they want me to. <laughs> oh, come on. There's gotta be more to you than that. I don't really need anything else. I'm not in the magazines, but I think I'm okay with that. I just want to finish what I start. Well, you're in the magazines now. Just what is the Minetta? Minetta? Oh, God. Yeah, what is it? 
the Minette. Oh god! I'm famous there, you know. <laughs> you can always find a willing ear there, and some donations for the fund. The fund? What fund? Yes, they are very kind. Why are you talking like that? Talking like what? Like you- oh, never mind. Like you went insane. Yes, they like me here. <laughs> what? Miss Stallman? Ooh. She's a good lady. I just wonder where she is. You expecting oh, yeah. her? Monique. Yeah. We can't start without the executive producer, can we? I could swear I saw her run by a couple of times. But why wouldn't she stop? Probably because she can't see you, man. You're dead. Hey, have you ever been to the park gallery down in Soho? No, sorry. I've never heard of it. Well, that was a long shot. Well, we have another lead. We have to go to the Mineta. Or how he would say it. The Mineta. Well, sure. Bye. See you around. <laughs> Anything else I knew to explore? You'd come. No. I knew you'd come. I knew you'd come. As much as I'd like to. Okay, we have to leave his room. What do you mean? No. What, what do you mean? What do you mean? So where's oh, we don't know where the Mineta is. Fair enough. We shall use our trusty Oogle. Oogle Oogle. Searchy. Uh, what was it? The Mineta. The Mineta is a tavern in the East Village. It's not too far from my place. West Village pubs. Serving the West Village for over 60 years. Lovely. Let's go get hammered again. Let's go. Yeah, let's blow this popsicle stand. Let's blow this popsicle stand. I love this kind of language, it's so cool. Uh, beer. Ooh, this looks like a nice place. Who's this? It's a portrait of an old man. Great. It's a portrait of an old man. It's, it's a, a portrait, portrait of, of an, an old man. man. Black and white pictures of old celebrities. Fair enough. I don't recognize any of them. Do you know this Frank Lyons dude? Bartender? Hi. Afternoon. Afternoon. What can I get for you? Oh no, I'm not here to drink. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> I was hoping you could answer some questions for me. Really? Yeah, is that a problem? No, it's just that this never happened to me before. You always see bartenders being questioned in the movies, but it never actually happens. You a detective? Something like that. Cool, how can I help? I'm a detective, but, you know, a cooler one. And I got boobies. Have you ever been to the park gallery? No, sorry. Great. Does a Monique Stallman ever come in here? Never heard of her, sorry. You are already so helpful. I was wondering if you've seen Frank Lyons. Frank Lyons, the actor? Didn't he die a few months ago? Yeah, he did. I think he might have come here before he died. Hmm, well, we get all sorts in here, but I don't think we've ever seen him. Well, um, that was the whole point of me coming here. And he doesn't know him. What now? What can you tell me about this place? The Mineta? Been here forever. 60 or 70 years at least. I've only been here a few weeks myself, so I don't know much of the history. Okay. Well, you were not helpful. There's nothing but empty tables back there. Yeah, it's not very busy in here, is it? I don't know much about brands, but it seems like decent stuff. Can we get some? After the other night? No way. Yes way. Oh, fine, Rosa. But you're cool. I like you. Let's go, Joey. Um, so he didn't know anything. If we go back to the ghost, he won't say anything different. Let's go back to that Monique person. Maybe she can tell me more. Come in. Come in. Kitty. Oh, hello. Again? Again. Yes, we're probably going to come into your office today about 50 times. Don't worry. So, um, I went to this, uh, Mine Mineta place. Have you ever heard of a place called the Mineta? Sorry, no. Fuck. <laughs> what else can you tell me about yourself? Is it relevant? Not really. Then there you go. Fuck you, miss. Tell me about Frank. Frank? He was a solid actor. Not A-list material, but dependable. He could read his lines and hit his marks and look good on camera. He didn't demand much and he was easy to work with. We set him up with an apartment nearby. That was all he needed. That reminds me we still haven't moved his stuff out. I'll have to get on that. 
Frank's apartment. Monique Stallman to told us that they gave Frank a place to live and his stuff is still there. We need to get to his apartment. Oh my god. You really rented him an apartment. That's very generous. Not really. The company owns it and it's rent controlled. We couldn't pay him much, so it was the least we could do. That is pretty convenient. Uh, where, where is it? Can you give me the address? Of Frank's old apartment? Why? I just wanted to look around. I ask again. Why? Research. You're very dedicated. But I'm afraid the answer is no. Seriously? I'd like to give Frank some bit of dignity. Come on! Are you sure you can't give me Frank's address? It would really help my research if I could look around. Everything you need to know about Frank you can find on the internet. I don't feel comfortable having a stranger look through his things. I'm not a stranger. I've met him. Post-mortem. Anything else you can- Like I said, he was always willing to work with us and he worked pretty cheap. I think he was waiting for his next break. He got one alright. He got the big break. Hmm. Okay. Thanks for that piece of info. Thanks for the chat, Monique. Sure. I really wanted to chat with the kitty. He, it might be important since it was Frank's cat. Where else can we go? Maybe I should search him up on, on the interwebs. People still say interwebs, right? It's still cool. So, back to the computer. Frank Lyons. Frank Lyons. Frank Lyons, 26. Oh. Suffered a fatal heart attack while on location at the Gothic Bridge in Central Park yesterday evening. He is best known for his many roles in several several independently produced films. Lyons leaves behind no family. His last film, Water Under the Bridge, Cubestar Films, is due to be released this spring. Any emails, by the way? Thank you for submitting. No, nothing, nothing new. Okay. So we know a little bit more about Frank Lyons, but not a lot. We don't know where he lives. Aw, Auntie Lauren. I miss Lauren. I've had this picture since I was a baby. I don't want to ruin it. Auntie Lauren and me, on the Brooklyn Bridge. All my life I wanted to know more about her. I never imagined that she was a medium. We almost look like a real family with Joey standing there. Yeah. The most dysfunctional family in the country, but still. Yeah, it's a nice picture of a family. It's wonderful. The dad is dead. Uh, never mind. Joey? Let's talk, Joey. Let's talk. Can I help you? Yes, you can. The Minetta was kind of quaint. Haven't you had enough to drink lately? No! Be quiet. I know he's dead and all, but this is kind of cool. I've never met anyone famous before. Just don't ask him for an autograph. Hmm. Did you really have to stare at Monique like that? What's your problem? It's not like she can see me. It's unprofessional, that's all. You're just jealous. <laughs> Joey, where were you looking? <laughs> I should tell Monique the truth about why I want to find Frank's apartment. She'd probably be more willing to help. You think that's a good idea? No. Sure, it's worth a shot. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, right, she could call the cops and they'd lock you away. Oh, so, yeah. So, uh, better not do that. Yeah, better not tell her that you're a, a crazy lunatic with a ghost on her back. Hmm. Have you ever heard of a multiple personality disorder? You mean schizos? Yeah. Watching you talk to Frank made me think about them. Two ghosts for the price of one? This day is getting better and better. Yeah. That's all for- Sure. Sure. Hmm, I'm thinking, what else can we do? Let's go. It's about time. Let's scram. Let's scram. Let's scram. What is the importance of the trash room? There's nothing in here but trash bags. I'm watching you, trash bags. I don't trust you. Nishanti isn't home. Nishanti's out getting drunk again. You go, Nishanti. You go. So we've been here. Should we go back to Mineta, I wonder? Hello again, bartender. Hi there. Got time for some more questions? Sure, ask away. What are the chances of you knowing where Frank Lyons lived? You a groupie or something? Oh, uh, no. Not exactly. Hell, either way, I can't help you. Um, thanks. Hmm, this portrait seems to be important, though. 
It's a portrait. It's a portrait. Portrait of an old man. Joey, do you have something to say about him? It's a portrait of an old guy. Thanks. It's a portrait. Okay, thanks. Hmm, he doesn't seem to notice. Oh. Tough customer. We can blow on things. That's what she said. Oh, I wish. I know you wish. I bet you miss a drink. Years ago, I could tell you what was a good year and what wasn't. Those days are long gone. Yeah. Oh, we still have the paper clip. That's interesting. We might use it again. Where can we go? Mr. Ghosty, I knew you'd come. Damn it, where is that woman? Hello, Frank. Oh, hey. Hey. Uh... Hey, Frank, could you tell me where you live? Uh, sorry, but I hardly know you. Aw, oh, come on, you can trust you me. You can trust me. <laughs> I really Smile. don't think so. Sorry. God damn it, I was sure that would work. Funny thing, I went to the Mineta. They never heard of you. Why would they? You said you went there all the time. I've never heard of the place. What? You told me you were famous there. Famous? Yeah, famous at the Mineta. The Mineta? I go there all the what time. What the fuck? It's like my second home. But you just said... Say, could you spare some money for the Joe Gould Fund? What? Joe Gould Fund? What's that? What's what? The Joe Gould Fund. I have no idea. But you just... Oh, never mind. Okay, so we have a ghost that doesn't remember he died and is insane. Frank's ghost referred to the something called the Joe Gould Fund. Who's Joe Gould? We will find out. Say goodbye. Well, see you around. You sure. crazy Bye. person. You crazy dead as person. As much as I'd like. Rosa, let's go back to the bar. Always, uh, I always say that. That's that's my motto. Back to the bar. Hi there. Got time? Sure. Ask. A ask away. Have you ever heard of Joe Gould or anything called the Joe Gould Fund? <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Sometimes I think they should just rename this place the Joe Gould Bar and be done with it. Really? People hear about him and they come in here to ask about him. That's his portrait up there behind you. He died a long time ago. Who was he? He was some homeless guy who wandered the West Village in the 50s and 60s. He told some crazy stories and people found him entertaining, so they gave him money for his food and his beer. He referred to the money as the Joe Gould Fund. He also tried to write a book or something. He never finished it? Nope. Hey, sounds like your soulmate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's raining now. Anything else you can tell me about Joe Gould? I don't know much else, sorry. If you want to know more, check in another time. Lots of artist types come in here. They all know about Joe Gould. Oh, is that a hint that we should come in later? Maybe. So that's Joe Gould? Oh, wow. He looks like he should be in Harry Potter for some reason. And that would be his magic wand. You crazy teacher. It's a portrait of Joe Gould. Yep, he sure liked the drinking. It's a portrait of Joe. It's a portrait. It's a portrait of Joe Gould. Lovely. Joey, do you want to look at this lovely portrait? Apparently, this guy is Joe Gould. Looks half crazed, whoever he is. Yeah. Apparently, look. Fair enough. Um, let's go back. Why is it raining now, though? We must have done something right. Whenever the weather changes, you're um, you're progressing in the game. Where should we go now? Cube Star. Ah, it is raining. Come in. Come in. Oh, hello. Again. Again. Oh. <gasps> oh. You're back. Make yourself at home. You always do. I knew that I was progressing in the game. The cat is inside and it's named Elsa. That's a nice name. Hey, kitty. She's a little black cat. I don't recognize the breed. Hey, kitty. She's wearing a little collar with an ID tag. Oh. Oh, if it was Frank's cat, maybe maybe he has some info on it. Hey, kitty. Hey, kitty. Ouch. Oh. She scratched me. Bad kitty. Careful. That was Frank's cat. She's a mean one. She's a mean one. Mean one. Joey, are you better with animals? Hey, little fella. Aw. <laughs> He's playing with the cat. 
Uh, a little busy right now. Aw, look at him. It's beautiful. Damn it. Joey, keep playing with hey, the cat. You have found your purpose in uh, your un life. Rosa, look at the cat quickly. All right, Elsa. Let's see what's on your ID tag. 12th Street and Avenue A. Hopefully that's where we need to be. Success! New location. Elsa was Frank's cat, so the dress on the ID tag should be his. Hopefully. Okay, we got the address. Goodbye, we just wanted to see the cat. Bye now. Poker face. Poker face. Wonderful. Ah, let's go to Frank Lyons now. That was easy. Oh, this is not gonna be easy. So many doors. One of Frank's neighbors. What is this? That's oh. Frank Lyons' door. Or at least it used to be. Well, at least we find the apartment now. And in the next episode, guys, we're gonna see what's inside. Thanks for watching. <laughs>